Hello friends, this is Vinay and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can enable disable and search for new hidden features in Windows Insider Build for Windows 11 and Windows 10. For this video we are going to use uh, Vive Tool GUI which is based on Vive Tool. Previously users have to make use of uh, Command Prompt or PowerShell to uh, enable uh, hidden features but with the help of uh, Vive Tool GUI so the process become easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it. So before you start following the procedure, I would like to tell you that uh, I'm not responsible for any damage or unintended side effect of this program on your PC. Uh, follow the instruction only or use the tool only if you are aware of what you are doing. So now that you are aware of everything, uh, let it start it. I have already added the link in the description uh, that will take you to this uh, page on GitHub. Uh, the latest version is 1.5.2 we need to scroll down and uh, download the portable zip file of this tool so once the downloading process completes uh, you need to extract the zip file Now here uh, you need to run this uh, Vive Tool GUI application. When UAC dialog box appears, click yes to continue. So this is how the home screen of Vive Tool GUI looks like. On the upper right corner, you will find this select build option. Uh, you need to select the build for which you want to find, enable or disable feature. I'll go with the latest uh, build for Dave channel that is double two five seven two. So once uh, you select the build, the tool will scan for all the hidden features available in this build. The process will take around uh, two to three minutes. So you need to wait. So once the scan is completed, uh, you need to search for the feature that you want to enable or disable. For this tutorial, I am going to enable the new app picker that Microsoft has introduced in the latest Windows 11 build. And uh, all you need to do is just uh, type the name. So you can see that app picker appear in the search result. You can also use feature ID to search the feature that you want to enable before i show you how you can enable this feature i'm going to show you how the default app picker looks like so you can see this is the current app picker so to enable this feature you need to click here and then you need to select activate feature now you will get a dialog box uh, that reads successfully set feature app picker to enabled. Now close it. Now let's have a look at how the new app picker looks like. So this is how the new app picker looks like. Following the same procedure, you can also uh, disable the desired feature or revert feature to default values. So that's all about this video. Give it a try and uh, let me know your opinion about this tool in the comments. Also, if you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.